Welcome back to Yoshi Entertainment, everybody. So just recently, I took a little bit of a break from social media. I've been keeping my eye on the things that's been going on lately. And whenever I came back to make this video, I have discovered that all hell has been breaking loose, apparently, over there in Europe. And it started with these raggedy behind Olympic Games in Paris. Now, they had all kinds of crazy, demonic, satanic mess going on. The Christians over there and over here in America have been saying, this is what y'all are not going to do without us saying something. And I'm here for it. Nobody can say that the Christians are not saying anything about this mess that goes on. Some of these people want to have their cake and eat it too. They want to do X, Y, Z. Then when the Christians confront them about what they're doing, they want to be mad and say judgments. But then when other things happen and the Christians don't say anything, they want to say, oh, I thought you were Christians. Once again, make up your minds, individuals who participate in these things. Like I said, the Christians were calling this out. They were pointing out all of the imagery, the things that was going on, the blasphemy, the mockery of it all. They always pick Christianity because, let's be honest, they know that the God Yeshua is the only true and living God. If anything else was the case, they'd be mocking everybody else. They always pick on Christians. And once again, when Christians say something, they want to say, don't judge me. God loves me. The same God who you keep denying, the same God who you keep mocking and disrespecting by doing these things. He loves everybody, yes, but he wants you to do what's right. He doesn't like the sin and the blatant disrespect that you're partaking in when you do these things. That's what people keep tending to leave out. There's a whole lot of scriptures that people look over where he says, if you do this, if you do that, this will happen consequences. He says he will not be mocked. And I've said this before, whatever you do, you're going to reap. Whatever you sow, you're going to reap. God will not allow you to mock him constantly over and over again without consequences. He will give you a chance to rectify your wrongs. So you can't say that you never had one, but he will not allow it to continue without repercussions. And the sad part is you can't get through to some of these people. Even if you leave the religious and faith-based things at the door, so to speak, and you say, okay, let's do this according to fairness, y'all don't mock other religions like how y'all do Christianity. Y'all don't mock other people like y'all do Christians. Y'all don't mock and disrespect other gods like y'all do our God, Yeshua. That's not right. That's not fair. They don't care, clearly. Every time they do this, they don't care. They're showing people that they don't care. They don't care about being fair and respectful. It's all about inclusion and acceptance and not being partial until it comes to who they want to mock and disrespect, which once again is always Christians and God. Now, there was a person on Twitter who included some pictures of all the things that they were doing. Oh, they pulled everything out of the hat, if you will, or almost everything. The golden calf statue. Them mocking the Last Supper. Grown behind men dressed in drag, mocking Jesus and the Last Supper with this table that they laid out and having this person dancing on the table. If I'm not mistaken, there was also this really odd thing where it was a weird floating detached singing red head they also had in there. I believe that was like at the beginning. Like I said, if I'm not mistaken, they also had the pale horsemen, which I believe they were using to mock the apocalypse, the second coming, if you will. I also think they like doing this apocalypse type imagery because they're trying to low key tell everybody what they might have planned, which is why I keep telling everybody to be vigilant, to pay attention, to know what's going on, to be prayerful. Now, one person on Twitter did bring up this rebuttal that people had whenever they called these people out for doing this mockery of the Last Supper. They're trying to say that, oh, they were not portraying the Last Supper. It was about Greek mythology, Greek culture, if you will, because of the way that the one person was dancing on the table. But where in Greek mythology and Greek culture did they have a Last Supper? Jesus was not Greek. He was a Jew. So please help me understand how this is having anything to do with Greek anything, Greek culture. And even one person on Twitter responded by saying even one of the people who was dressed up in drag admitted that it was supposed to be their portrayal of the Last Supper, which is a mockery, like I said before. So all of that, oh, it's like a Greek culture thing. That's a load of bull crap. Like, just tell us once again, you don't care. You're trying to cover for these people. 
and you don't want the truth to be exposed because you're in line with what they're doing without telling us. We're not stupid. We see it happening right in front of our faces and we have the right to call it out. This article that's being referenced is from the Christian Post and they included a lot of scriptures basically to show people that this was once again a blatant mockery what they were doing. That all of what they were doing, they were taking from the Bible and twisting it in their own perverted, disrespectful, and blasphemous ways. So there's nobody should be saying, oh, we're confused. How can you say this? That's not the truth. The proof is right in the pudding. It's right in our faces, like I said before. And a lot of people have been talking about this Dionysus imagery. I haven't done too much research into that kind of stuff, but they've been saying this is one of the main entities that they've been trying to, if you will, pay homage to. There are others, but this is one of the main ones. And we really need to equip ourselves with knowledge so we know what we're looking at and we know what we're dealing with. Once again, we perish because of a lack of knowledge. We can't afford to be walking around ignorant of what's going on. Now, another scripture that the Christian Post included was Romans 1, 24 and 25. Therefore, God gave them up in the lusts of their hearts to impurity, to the dishonoring of their bodies among themselves, because they exchanged the truth about God for a lie and worshiped and served the creature rather than the creator who is blessed forever. So this is why, for people who don't understand, why these people are being allowed to run amok. And it's not so much an allowance, if you will, like our government has these agendas, I didn't told y'all before, these political agendas, they're going to do these things. They have paved the way for these people to display this ungodliness. Just like God gave us the freedom to do the right thing or the wrong thing, he gave them that same freedom. They chose to do the wrong thing. They embraced this evil, this mess that they've been doing. He is not going to force them to do the right thing. And because they chose to do this, he allowed them to be essentially taken over by it since they wanted to go ahead and yoke themselves up with this like I said ungodliness he allowed them to do exactly what they wanted to do he allowed them to be overtaken by their lust and their perversion because they wanted it so badly now it's our responsibilities people can say you know I don't believe that etc cetera, etc cetera. but I do believe Christians and people who believe in God have a moral and spiritual duty to speak out against these people the things that they do they're in a mindset, once again, they are taken over by that mindset. They're not going to promote the right thing. So the people who have their minds intact, who are in their right minds, they're the ones who have the responsibility to speak out and to speak against this stuff because we all know it's not right. Now, if they choose to still indulge in this, then that's on them. They're going to have to be held accountable whenever they go to meet God, whenever their consequences are coming to get them. They're going to have to hold themselves accountable. They're going to have to deal with that. But as far as I'm concerned and the other people who know that this is not right and are also concerned, we're going to at least say something about it. Be that the only thing we can do, we're going to do that at least. Now, another thing sort of in this same department, if you will, that was going on in Paris at the Olympics that should not have been. During certain sections of these sports that were taking place at the Olympics, like the boxing sports that was happening for instance for example they had a man we're going to call it what it is biologically a man a male because he has an x and a y chromosome in the ring with a woman a biological woman because she has two x chromosomes he hit her one good time and she said i'm done and i don't blame her quite frankly she said she got hit so hard by this guy who is naturally and biologically stronger than she is, made that way by design. And she said, I've never been hit that hard before. I'm not going to continue. I want y'all to know she probably saved her own life or from getting very fatally damaged. That boxer's name, by the way, was Angela Carini. Like I said, this woman completely withdrew. She had been practicing for this. Like, I don't think people understand the depths that these people, these sportsmen and sportswomen, these athletes have to go to in order to prepare their bodies for the Olympics. They have to do things that the average person would break down if they had to do. All of the training, the cardio, lifting weights. Some of these people don't eat desserts for years, literally. They don't drink soda. The only thing going in their body is healthy foods and water. The average American citizen probably couldn't go a week without a soda. 
or something that wasn't water when it comes to beverages. Don't even get me started on the regular food. They put their bodies through physical torture, the mentality that they have to maintain, the discipline. It is hard work to be an athlete, especially in the Olympics, and have all that taken from her because they wanted this inclusion bullcrap. They're trying to push this agenda. It was wrong. Whoever idea it was to allow a man to participate in a women's boxing competition in the Olympics, they're wrong. They're really wrong. Disgusting, if you ask me. Whoever's idea it was, it needs to be undone. It's a shame if you really ask me. And not even if you ask, it is a shame. Point blank, period. Like I said, these people are pushing these agendas. They try to call people homophobic and transphobic when you talk about this. But they don't care about the people whose lives they are ruining. These people who have trained for years to get to these places only to have what they could have had taken from them because these men want to be women. And there was someone on Twitter some time ago, I think I did actually talk about this in a video not too long ago, who basically mentioned that if you really think about it, it still is misogyny underlying all of this stuff that's happening. So you're upset because you can't compete with the men because if you could, you would have been doing it. So you decide to try to change your gender, which you cannot possibly do, but whatever. And then you compete with the women to take what they have, to take the opportunities and the chances that they have. It's disgusting and it's shameful that they would even allow that to happen. Now, I think this young woman didn't want to come out and say that it was wrong for them to do that to her because, of course, she would have gotten the backlash out of this world. And it's sad that she went through that and couldn't even speak out about it because she knew people would have an issue. But there are some people still calling it out. And I quote, Thursday's forfeit sparked strong reactions in Italy, where the Prime Minister, Giorgia Maloney, called the fight a match that did not seem on equal footing. Athletes who have male genetic characteristics should not be admitted to female competitions, she told reporters, end quote. Once again, the fact that they even let that go down like that, why don't you just tell the woman you didn't want her there to begin with? That was a slap in the face of that woman and all of her hard work to put her up against somebody who was biologically stronger than she was to begin with. Going against a woman, you already have equal footing. Just like with the men, you have equal footing when you're going against the same gender. Because we're not built the same, we're not made the same. Once again, that's by design. And every time you try to use biology to show these people that what they're doing is crazy, they always try to use it to disprove it. But the funny thing is... Biology proves that what they're doing, once again, is wrong. Once again, biological male XY has more testosterone, physically stronger than any woman could ever have. Point period blank. If these people, these transgender individuals, want to be involved so badly, they need to have their own section and stop ruining it for other people. I said what I said. These articles, they don't want to speak the truth. They want to tiptoe around the issue. They want to carry favor with these people. They don't want to be canceled. So, of course, they're going to say that they feel like, oh, everybody should be able to compete despite what they are, what they claim to be, etc. Screw all the people who, like I said, actually work for it and don't deserve to be done that way. These people, these mainstream outlets, these articles, nine times out of ten, unless it's something like the Christian Post, they're going to tiptoe around the issue. And it's sad. It's not fair. It's not right to these people. Now, there were some people on Twitter who were pissed, rightfully so. This one young lady on Twitter said, and I quote, the feelings of weak men now mean more than the safety of real women. This is sick. This is demonic. The Olympic Committee and every Democrat politician supporting this should be called out. Now, if you're not one of the people she's talking about, then you shouldn't have to worry about being offended. But I'm a firm believer in people need to be calling out stuff the way that it is. I don't care about anybody's feelings when it comes to this kind of stuff. People are getting screwed over. People's livelihoods are getting screwed over. Their safety, their lives. We're not going to play patty cake and, like I said, be worried about somebody's feelings because that's another thing she pointed out. They're so busy trying to not hurt somebody's feelings 
but allow that same person to screw somebody else over in a way that so many people cannot comprehend. When your feelings and you wanting people to care about your feelings about something you shouldn't even be doing anyways matter more to you than what you're doing to hurt somebody else, we have an issue and it needs to be addressed. We're going to also blatantly address that this is right up a lot of democratic people's alleyways. If we're going to be honest, a lot of the right wing. I didn't say everybody who is right wing or democratic, but a lot of them support this kind of stuff. So if a lot of them support this kind of stuff, it's only right to call them out. Point period blank. Another person on Twitter said, and I quote, this isn't sport. This is abuse. The IOC's inexcusable decision to let a man beat on a woman will go down in history as the greatest injustice in sport. I didn't said before, putting people's lives in jeopardy. One hit from that dude with the kind of strength he was working with that she did not possess because she's a woman could have quite literally ended her life. Let me just be blatantly honest. People don't want to think about that, though. Once again, when their feelings and them doing what they want to do that you just can't do and be inconsiderate means more to them than people's safety and what's right. We have an issue. Another Twitter user said it is incomprehensible, sick, twisted, unjust. It is all of that. And then some. Another person on Twitter said, and I quote, let me get this straight. If I put on a dress, this is a man speaking and hit a woman in the face, I'd go to prison and rightfully so. But if a certain individual pretends to be a woman and beats an actual woman senseless, he's an Olympic champion. How demonic. Now, there were people, like I said before, pointing out that the Christians were coming together, praying, trying to boycott these Olympic Games because of what they've been doing. People want to get real upset and offended once again when people talk about this stuff. All they have to do is leave God's name out of their mouths. And what I mean by that is stop mocking him. Stop mocking everything that is Christianity, that is God, that is the faith. Just stop it. You can't just sit up and do these things and expect people to just gloss over it or not everybody at least. There are people who are going to take a stand because we believe if you don't stand for something, you'll fall for anything. And we're just not going to allow these kind of things to take place without saying something, without speaking out, without protesting. And for all the individuals who think this mess is cute, they think it's funny, they think it's trendy, it's inclusive, whatever they want to label it now. They think it's okay to do these things, to mock Christ, to do things like mock the, the Trinity, to mock the Last Supper, to just be disrespectful and blasphemous in general, to embrace these demonic themes and the things that they do. And then when people call them out, they act like, oh, you're discriminating against me. Just understand, once again, as I said before earlier in this video, God is not mocked. Whatever you do, whatever actions you choose, whatever you sow, you will reap. It's going to be all fun and games until the consequences of those actions that you will not be able to get out of, no matter what you do, finally catches up with you. Anyways, y'all let me know what y'all think and how y'all feel down in the comments below. Respectfully, don't forget to like and subscribe. Y'all all have a very blessed, beautiful, and safe day.